I've built some pretty cheap houses in this game before, but I don't think I've ever tried to build anything this cheap. This is definitely the smallest budget I have ever had for a Sims build, because today we're going to try to make an entire house with only 1,000 simoleons. I've built a house with 2,000 simoleons before, which might sound like a lot of money today, but honestly, it does not go far. I mean, even just walls are so expensive. A house this big is 840 simoleons in walls alone. So if we're gonna try to have a fully functional house with like a bed and a toilet and a way for your sim to eat, we're gonna have to do some sneaky things. Starting with probably not buying walls. There's kind of ways around this because we can use roofs, for example, and then have this be part of the wall. It's not gonna be a cute house. The goal is just for it to function. We're also gonna have to use a lot of debug. So I'm gonna open up those cheats right now because that's gonna be a lifesaver for us. Mostly because of this debug bed. This this is the dumpster bed from Eco Lifestyle. It only costs 25 simoleons. The other cheapest bed is 210 and that like kills the budget. So we're gonna need this. Normally I try to buy a toilet, but I think today we might have to use the pea bush. The cheapest shower is 300. I'd really like to have a shower. If I have to, I might get a sink instead because technically your sim can get their hygiene up from just the sink. And normally I would try to buy like a fully functional kitchen, but I don't think that we can. So we might have to just get a fridge and they can eat quick meals out of it. Or maybe even, how much does the cooler cost? Oh, okay, wait. This portable cooler from Outdoor Retreat is only 145. It works like a fridge so your sim can get quick meals like cereal out of it. You just can't cook with it, but like we can't afford to buy a stove and a counter anyway. So we might have to just work with this. We're gonna want something for your sim's fun need too. The books count for that because they I can read it and these are only 10. These eco lifestyle bikes are only 50 and this gets your sims fun up like so fast. Look at this. If my fun is super low and I have her ride this for a little bit, literally just riding around on the bike makes the fun go up almost completely like instantly. So a bike might actually be a really good idea. Can you come back? You're lost. I'm trying to build. I might even buy both the bike and the bookshelf because the books are so cheap and it's basically decor. So that technically covers all of our needs. Maybe not very well but it covers them. And we have a little bit of money left over for like walls and stuff. I think I'll start with a floor. I think I'll actually try really hard to use this roof as the wall. We could probably have the house be a little bit bigger too. But if we use those as the side walls, we can just buy a real wall for the front. It's almost like a little A-frame or something, you know? Like it's, it's kind of cool. This is exactly what I built last time, by the way. I'm well aware. There's just only so much that you can do <laughs> when you have this small of a budget, we're kind of stuck with these roof pieces. Like, I can't really change it up, so this is just gonna have to work. Oh, I forgot about lights. Oh, no. This is the cheapest one. It's only 50, and it's also the best one, so I guess I'll use that. And we have to buy wallpaper. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Oh, they're fake walls. It's free. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> we have to pay for it on the front because it's a real wall, but the other ones we don't. We could probably also do like, no real flooring. We can just use the cheapest stuff and then try and make like a custom pattern or something. Cause that's kind of fun. It it looks kind of cute, right? <laughs> Are any of these beds better? I guess this one's kind of nice. That might look kind of cute there. I am seriously scrolling through and looking for like the ultimate cheapest everything that I can find. Cause I'd like to have a chair or something. This one's only 10. It's kind of cute in here. It's almost like retro diner vibes <laughs> with the pink and the blue and the checkerboard especially. Actually, maybe I should pick a door first <laughs> before I spend all this money on decor. It might be nice to have a functional house. It's hard because I want it to be cute. So it'd be nice to have like a bigger door like this one. That's only 85. And then it adds some windows, which is probably a win. The cheapest is only 50 though. But I guess, what are we going to spend those extra 35 simoleons on? Probably nothing. There's only so much we can do in here and like 35 simoleons isn't going to go that far. The window is probably the most worthwhile thing we could buy. Maybe I'll put like a cute pink metal on the roof or something. Or... Wait, or should we go for something sort of similar to this? Like with the red maybe from the plant? Because this is kind of like the nicest plant we're going to be able to afford. I guess that makes the inside kind of weird. And I just built a house with this yellow roof, so I probably shouldn't do that again. Oh, that's cute. Maybe I'll use that color. Oh, we are so lucky. 
that roofs are free. If it wasn't free, I don't know what we would do. Like we would actually be doomed. This is a miracle. <laughs> There's no way we could do it otherwise. So we have 78 simoleons left. I've got a chair. Here's the kitchen. Um, here's the bathroom. Oh, this table's only 45. I could probably use that and put the books on it, maybe in pink. I think I might switch this and put the kitchen over here. <laughs> the kitchen, I say. Yeah, okay. Here's the kitchen. And this shower can be walked on top of, so it can just be anywhere. Oh, these are only zero simoleons. We could always put those in. Actually, there is a free rug. This is from Nifty Knitting. We could definitely use that. It kind of fits the color scheme a little bit too. The shower is so random. I've got a shower like right in front of the glass windows. I wish that I could put tile on like just this wall, like just right here, but I can't even afford another wall. So <laughs> we can't do that. A lot of the free stuff in decor is like spider webs and cracks on the wall. And I'm trying to make this seem like it's nice and not like it's, you know, moldy or whatever. <laughs> I guess if we embraced the moldy aspect of it, we might be able to make this look more finished. Oh, this is pretty cheap. And it's got like a cute bicycle. We have a bike. <laughs> Maybe that's nice. Maybe it's like an ode to the bike that we have. I'm gonna switch this up and try and go for like slightly grosser looking because I feel like that might actually look better in the end. Oh, look at that. That's horrible. Oh, okay. The outside looks really terrible. <laughs> I don't know if we could do that because we can't really put that up there, can we? No, no, that looks really bad. We could just do white though. That would be fine. Oh, this might help. Look, we could put some kind of like gross stain over by the shower. There you go. That's lovely. Oh my God. If we could have a TV, that would be so cool. I just sold the light because I'm wondering if we could get one of the debug lights instead. I never use debug lights in The Sims 4, but I used to always use them in The Sims 3. Oh, there's like cute sculptures. That could be nice. Oh, that's actually not too bad. And then in live mode, it's invisible, but it's free. So we don't have to worry about paying for it. That's actually huge. I can maybe afford to get a table. Oh my God. <laughs> the table is so expensive. Wait, hold on. What if I switch this back around and I put the TV on here, kind of like behind the bed? I mean, it's a little bit tight, but I think it looks good. And then you can actually watch the TV. I think there's like a giant shelf from Eco Lifestyle that only costs 20 simoleons. I would really, really like to use that. Oh wow, this hanging shelf's only 20. It looks too nice though. Doesn't that seem like really fancy? <laughs> it might not work for our purposes. Why is it so cheap? See, like this one's 30 and that actually matches better, but I don't wanna spend more money than I have to. I guess we could use this kind of like a nightstand almost, the cooler. And then obviously your Sim can eat from there. And then we have the shelf like right there. I guess I could try to put some like debug free clutter on there. I might use a different chair that isn't pink. I think the pink is kind of out now. <laughs> We're going for a slightly different vibe nowadays. Some of this clutter, like that free llama might work. We could do like the llama and a bunny or something. <laughs> I don't know. I want to try and put something behind the shower that looks like tile. I just don't know what to do with it. Ew. Oh my god. Not that. Yeah, we're completely out of money. I don't know if I can do anything else. It's functional though. Like we can have a quick meal. Oh no, it's not functional. I don't have a trash can. Oh god. We need like a big one. But the cheapest is 75? Uh. Otherwise there's nowhere to get rid of your dishes because we don't have a sink either. Is there a cheap sink? No, the cheapest is 120. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, I don't really know what to do about that because I don't think I can get like that many simoleons back. I guess I could sell the bike. Oh no, that only gets us 78 simoleons. Didn't I need 85? Oh, I could sell this. This is worth 10. Oh, it's 75 that I need. Okay, so that's fine. I've got a trash can. <laughs> It looks so random back there. The back of this is so ugly. Oh, so I can have my bookshelf. I spoke too soon. I can still have it. And I've got three simoleons left, which isn't really gonna get me that far. In fact, I don't think it's gonna get me anywhere. I'm not sure there's a single thing in this game that costs one simoleon, aside from those like paw print wall decals. And I don't think that I need more wall decals. <laughs> 
Oh, a pumpkin. Even like the food on the floor is too expensive. The like pile of mess, can't afford it. Oh, I can afford some more stains. These are only free, so I could probably use them. And they come in a few different variants as well. That might help. It adds like some character to the floor. Oh, the school drawings are free. Maybe they drew that when they were a kid and they brought it with them. <laughs> <laughs> Just so we could have some more artwork. Oh, the fish are free. And so are these little things. We could hang up like a dead fish. How about that? Oh, that's everything. Okay. We cannot afford a single other piece of decor inside this house. I don't have my bike anymore either, which is really quite sad, but that's okay. We have a bike picture and you have a bookshelf and you have a TV, so this will be okay. <laughs> we can make it work. Now I gotta figure out how to landscape this. We could hopefully use some little debug landscaping. I could probably also put it back to the red if we wanted to. We don't have the cute color scheme anymore. Um, we went in a slightly different direction, so we can do anything out here. Okay, debug landscaping is going to be an actual necessity for us because otherwise there will be nothing out here. <laughs> so we're going to have to really make this work for us. I think it'll be very doable though. There's actually a lot of really nice debug landscaping. Even when I'm not trying to make a cheap house, I would still probably choose to use debug just because there's like some different variants of things that we don't really have in the regular game. I don't really know how to make the pea bush look intentional. <laughs> I'm really, really unsure of where to put that and have it not look horrible. I might try and use these little stones to make a walkway because that honestly looks kind of cool. We can have the mailbox there. I wonder if there's any debug like wall lights that I could put outside so it looks like we've got a porch light. I can't find any yellow flowers. I want to have yellow so it matches the bush, but I don't think any of these come in that shade. Like, where are these? Just, I want to have that. Oh, here's a couple nice debug things. Look at this banner. We could probably use that. We could hang it up like in the bedroom part. Oh, a debug basketball. There's so much like actually really nice debug clutter. Even if these things don't actually function, it's fine because it just helps the place look better and like more finished. This is like a whole debug movie poster. We could probably use that. Maybe just to have some more wall decor. I think this is supposed to be like some sort of outdoor thing, like a billboard type of item, but hey, it looks like a cool art piece on our wall and I'm more interested in that. Okay, I kind of just covered up my sim with this bush, but I think the pea bush could go over there. I added some cute little flowers kind of around. Cottage Living has all these fake doors and windows, so I'm kind of hoping that it might have a fake wall light. Oh, it does. Oh, that's perfect. I don't really like that particular one, <laughs> but I'd like to have some sort of fake light. We could probably put some like fake groceries next to the cooler, maybe a little food delivery bag as well. This tent doesn't really work for our purposes, but this is actually kind of a fun debug item. You could probably put like a yard sale together and use those yard sale tables from like City Living and Eco Lifestyle and put this debug tent over it. There's so many cool things in debug that you just don't really see. There's even like a full fake gazebo. Like who, how, why? <laughs> but it's cool. Oh, here's a $1 item. <laughs> it's a clothing pile from laundry day. We could probably put that there. I think having some clutter like that kind of helps. I think all the rest of this is too expensive. Yeah, we can't even afford a single book. <laughs> okay, well, we've, we've reached the point where we can no longer add literally anything. <laughs> I guess last step, I'll go through and add in some terrain paint because that is also free. I imagine this place would be a nightmare to actually play in, but it is kind of an interesting exercise size in what can you do for like the beginnings of legacy challenges or for like early rags to riches gameplay. Because in the end, this house only costs 998 simoleons and it's fully functional. You can sleep here, you can have a quick meal, you can throw out your quick meal, you can pee in a bush, you can shower right by your front door, you can even sit down in a chair. Look at that. We can channel surf on this terrible TV. Oh, and you can sit on the cooler! <gasps> Oh, that's so good. You can read? I mean, the possibilities are endless. Is it nice? No, but it works. And that's all that matters. Look, she's laying down. She's watching her TV. Eco lifestyle is like absolutely necessary for a challenge like this. I mean, the shelf, the bed, the TV, the chair, all those three like kind of essential items. Super cheap, thanks to that pack. If I were to change anything, it'd be nice if we had a little bit more money to buy a real toilet. Like I probably could have sold 
all of the decor options or maybe not even the toilets are kind of expensive so i don't think that, that was going to be feasible for us no matter what could we have gotten 250 simoleons maybe 150 for this toilet but this one's kind of scary so i'd almost rather have the bush i guess i will stick this on the gallery i can see myself using this in like early days of a legacy challenge even when you start out with zero simoleons it's not that hard to get a thousand i mean just like running around getting collectibles might get you kind of close to that in just a day. I mean, you look around right here, we've got this thing to dig up, we got a frog, another thing to dig up. There's a bunch of stuff kind of all over the place that you can dig up to try and get money. So it's it's actually pretty attainable, <laughs> although it's not really a um, long-term solution. I realized also that I just uploaded that to the gallery with a dirty plate on the table, so my bad. <laughs> but I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you want to watch me do the 2000 simoleon house, it looks very similar from the exterior because it's the same wall trick, but the interior has a little bit more going on like a real kitchen and stuff. I'll link that for you. Thank you for watching. Have the best rest of your day and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow. Okay, bye everybody. By the way, we've been fundraising for St. Jude all month on my Twitch channel and we have just passed $250,000 raised and we're still going. So if you want to come by, I'll link it down below.